Welcome to another tutorial on MATLAB. In this tutorial, we will see what are the different model properties that we can adjust for a model and different callbacks related to the model. Callbacks, for example, if uh, you want to play the Simlink model, then you need to press this play button. So by pressing on this play button, you are telling Simlink simulate the model. So that is internally running a function. So it represents like whenever there is some event happening in your model or in the GUI that you have by, for example, here in this case, you are pressing the play button and telling Simulink to simulate the model. Such kind of things are called callbacks. So it is somehow more related to a event. And once that event happens in this case, as we are pressing the play button, the simulation will act as a function and it will be called. So that is how callbacks works in MATLAB. So suppose we have this particular model and here we already know that we need to set some parameter in this model. So we can set the parameter automatically and how to set it automatically that we will see in this tutorial. So let's get started and see how this particular thing works. In the previous tutorial, we have seen how to design a controller model, how to create a test harness and also the previous to previous tutorial, we have seen how to create a plant model. In case you are interested in those videos, please have a look into the same. In this video, we will start with model properties. So let's have a look into the same. So, so if we now try to simulate the model, here we can see that we are getting some error. So basically the constant that we have defined in this particular block is not available. The value is not available. We have set it as a variable, but the Tmax is not available. And that's why we are getting this particular simulation error because that variable is not available. So suppose we want to set the variable in the model itself and then we want to simulate it. Then how to proceed with the same implementation? Let's see in here. So for this, we need to go into the files and inside the files, we will have model properties. So in that we need to select model properties. Once it is clicked, uh, this particular window will open and we will go to the callback. So let's see what are the different callbacks that are available here. So the first callback is preload callback. Okay. So here what will happen basically when your model is loading, uh, when you double click on your model and your model will load after that. So whatever the things that need to be done before the loading that will execute in this particular callback. So we need to define these callbacks and uh, once the model is being loaded, then the post load function will execute. So that also we need to define and next like when you click on the simulation button, the model will be initialized and at that moment, whatever the things that you want to execute as the initialization part that will execute in the init function. In this particular video, we will define this. Next, like whenever you are pressing the start button, like start simulation. So before simulation starts, like uh, while the start is uh, happening, uh, a function will be called, uh, which is uh, related to the start function. And uh, in this white area, you can mention what need to be done in that particular callback. Next, like whenever your simulation is going on and you want to pause. So once you click on the pause button, then in that case, you will have this pause function will be executed as a callback. And in that, if whatever you have defined inside it will execute when the pause button is being pressed. So once the pause button is being pressed after that, maybe you want to press on the continue button to continue the simulation again. In that case, you will be um, executing the continue part. So in that, like when continue is going on, then uh, what are the things that need to be executed will be defined in this particular function. So when you press on the stop button, then in that case, uh, if you want to stop the simulation, then in that case, this stop function will execute and uh, the function will be called at the back end. 
so this is related to the top function and pre-save and the post save like suppose whenever you press on the save button suppose you want something to execute then in that case the pre-save and post save will work so pre-save will work before the save happens and post save will uh, occur when the save is being done and uh, one more callback function is available in the model property which is related to the close function so suppose you clicked on this cross button then the model will be closed so while closing suppose you want to execute some function then in that case you can define that function inside this close part close function part so let's see like for init how it works okay <clears throat> so here you know, we need to see like uh, what are the things that we need to mention here R, so R is the radius of the wheel, T max, B max and M. We need to define all these things inside our model. So let's define that in the init function. So first we need to define the T max. So let's copy the same variable and uh, paste it in the function. Okay, T max equal to we will have it has a thousand which is thousand newton meter next is the b max it is always better to have copy paste because as human error is usual so you can always choose a copy paste method to define or having the same variable somewhere else it is a good idea so here we are defining the variable r which is 0 0.21 which is 0 0.21 meter which is 21 centimeter for the and we need to also define i think the mass so let's see like without defining the mass what is happening when we try to simulate if we press on the simulation button again we will get the mass error so that is also not being defined so we will close this and we will again go to the model properties file model properties and properties and in the init callback as you can see here now we have the function whenever you see a star so there you will get the function defined inside so here mass is 1005 1050 kg so now if you try to simulate this model then you will get no error because um, when you press on the simulation button you are indirectly calling the init function and init function will define everything and will make the variable value visible to this particular model so you are getting some simulation output so that is how a model property works in matlab and uh, how you can define a model property in case you are liking our content please consider subscribing in case you have any comment or any suggestion please let us know in the comment box so that it will help us to improve your experience of learning MATLAB in this particular channel. We will try to improve our content based on the comment and suggestions that you have. So happy learning MATLAB and have a good day.